My name is Caitlin Neal and I'm a professional mixed martial artist. I was born and raised in Utah County. I grew up in a middle class family. I grew up doing cheerleading, dance, and gymnastics. I was your typical girly girl cheer captain in high school. So it was kind of ironic that I got into fighting. Outside of fighting, I am a personal trainer. I do online workout, workout programs. And other than that, I just like online shopping and hanging out with my friends. <laughs> When I first heard about MMA, I thought it was so stupid. I was like, who wants to get in a cage and beat each other up? That just didn't make sense to me. Then I went to my first live MMA event and I was hooked. I think I get overlooked in this sport because I am a girly girl. I was a cheerleader and people look at me and think, oh, I can beat this girl up, no problem. Because my hair's done, my nails done, my makeup's done. But then when I get in the ring, it's a whole different story. So there's a lot of different things that motivate me to fight. My number one reason is probably because how it makes me feel as a person. I feel more confident. I feel stronger. I feel like I'm pushing myself and I'm constantly growing. And then another reason is because I love meeting different people. I have had so many opportunities through fighting that I never would have had if I hadn't had started. One of the rules that they have in fighting is that you can't wear glasses or contacts in the ring. For safety reasons, they don't want contacts rolling back in your eye or popping out. In my first couple of fights, I kind of snuck them in, so it didn't really bother me that much. And then when I fought out of state, they got a little bit more strict, and so they would check each time you would go into the ring if you were wearing contacts. So they made me take them out, and in the back room warming up, I just remember being so uncomfortable. I couldn't see very much. It was Everything was blurry. And then walking out, I couldn't see my friends or my family that came out to support me. In the ring, my opponent was really blurry, and you don't want that to happen. You want to be able to see clearly so you can be confident in your fight. I was sick of being uncomfortable in my fights, so I went ahead and got vision correction surgery, and it's been a game changer ever since.